What's up, rogues? It's the White Jackal here, coming at you with another skin video. And this time we're going to be doing the rare skin, the secondary skin, Anodized Blue. I personally don't like it. Just going to say that right off the bat. I don't like the color combination. I don't like how the bright blue is with this like golden brown earthy tone look. As it doesn't hit me in any good spots, I guess. But that's just personal opinion. Let me know your opinion in the comments below if you actually do like the skin or if I am correct on this one and you agree with me. Either way, let's talk about the skin a little bit before we check it out in the rest of the secondaries. And that's, it is a more expensive skin. It's $7 instead of the $5 that you'd expect for uncommon. And I think this is uncommon quality. Like, I don't see anything special to it comparing it to other rares. For example... We got this, we got movement effects, we have color changing. Like, there's so many other rares in this game so far, and they lump this thing in there too, saying this is equal price. And I don't think it is. I don't think it's equal to the value of a rare. I think if anything, this is an uncommon skin, sort of like the special tactics. It's a rare, but they priced it as an uncommon. So that's acceptable to me. But this one, I think they need to reconsider its value because this is definitely not rare value. Anyways, I think the triangles are a little bit too big. If they would have made them smaller, I think it would look a lot better, a little bit more grainier, I guess. It'd fill it in better. It'd look really cool that way, I assume. But anyways, let's get into the other secondaries and check them out. So we here we have the Spitfire, and the Spitfire always looks good. I'm still not impressed by this one. Yeah, just not impressed. I like the shine to it. I'm glad that the blue does have a nice shimmer effect. But that's only when the light's hitting it. Uh, I don't know. I want a little bit more from that blue at least. But anyways, let's continue down the road. Alright, now we got Dallas's revolver. And actually it doesn't look terrible on this one. I don't know, I like it a little bit more on the revolver. I feel like it fits a little better. Still not a fan of the light blue, but it's, it doesn't look as bad. Not too shabby. Alright, next we got the P12K. Alright, next we have the P12K, and it looks pretty good. Not, not too bad. I do like how they broke it up, at least on this gun. How it's the barrel and silencer one thing and then the blue the other. How they broke it up looks good. I wish they gave a little bit more grip color or something. But other than that, it's not terrible for the gun. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not feeling it yet. The A3 Salvo. Alright. I like it a little more on this gun. I think the revolver is the best looking version of this thing. But man, those are some big triangles on this one too. Alright, and last but not least, we have the Warrant, and yeah, I am just disappointed with this skin. I really am. For the price value, I expected more. I think they sort of put out something that's not to the standards that they usually release things at. This thing seems a little basic, a little bland, a little untasteful. Hopefully, it looks a lot better in-game, so let's check that out right now and see how it compares, because maybe it's just here that we're not impressed, and in-game it'll look a lot better. Alright, jumping right into it, we can see a little bit of this blue that we're doing the Executioner right now. In-game, it's not too bad. Honestly, you see mostly the gold. The blue shows up a little bit. Where the blue does show up, I'm actually not happy with it. I wish that they would actually change out that color. I don't like that color at all with this colored skin. I feel like they put two skins together to get this thing. I, it's it's weird to me. But anyways, it's not terrible, I guess, in-game. It actually looks kind of neat. I like the diamond pattern in-game, at least. It looks good. Let's see. On to the next one. We got the Spitfire here on the brand new Lancer skin. You've probably already seen the video for this, but if not, go check it out. But yeah, it doesn't look as bad on the Spitfire. I actually kind of like it on this one. I like the light blue on her, but I really don't like the brown on this skin. I don't know, it feels just clunky. 
But now we got Dallas's revolver. Hopefully this will do a little bit better. I like the barrel. I actually like the diamond barrel <laughs> on the barrel. I wish they would have just did the whole thing this color now. And I usually hate that. But with this, it just seems like it would be better off. Ooh, teammate saved me right there. There we go. But anyways, on to the next one, which is the A3 Salvo. Got Scorch here. It just doesn't work with Scorch at all. I don't know. There's none of the skins have any blue in it yet, so maybe down the line it might look a little better. But for now, I'm not seeing much use for this skin. It doesn't match up with anything in game as of yet, which is sort of a disappointment. Because when you get these skins, you want them to match up with your outfit or whatever you're using. And light blue and diamond golden patterns aren't really a thing yet. I don't know if they ever will be, but they aren't yet. Alright. We got the P12K, the silenced pistol. Oh, smoke that out. Hopefully it'll cause some confusion. Sweet deal. Doesn't look bad on her. It's a, uh, it's blah. I don't know, I have no feelings whatsoever about this little skin. It's not worth $7 though. Now last but not least, we got the warrant revealed. Let's pop this here, just in case. And nope, they're all over here, completely distracted. Let's get over here, uh, trench, not paying attention. Sweet deal, nice cleanup. But yeah, I gave this skin a four out of 10 because I'm just not impressed with it. It doesn't match itself and it doesn't match any skins in the game as of yet and it's just kind of a blob basic skin that's uh, overpriced in my opinion. I think this thing should be $5 at most. $7 is ridiculous. I'm sorry hi res this isn't to beat up on you guys. I love your game and a lot of the skins but this one doesn't make the cut. Well thanks for watching guys. Like and subscribe to keep more content. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.